Okay guys, this is chapter 21.2, Homework Helper. So your terms for this section are Freedom Writers, James Meredith, Civil Rights Act of 1964, Freedom Summer, Fannie Lou Hammer, Voting Rights Act of 1965. Question. What was the Freedom Summer? Who took part and what were the issues? What did they accomplish? What did the Voting Rights Act of 1965 enable federal officials to do? Okay, so writing for freedom. Who were they? James Peck and core members. What did they want? They wanted to convince Kennedy's administration to enforce law. What did they achieve? Interstate Commerce Commission banned segregation in all travel. What were the cost of violence from police and white racists? Let's go back here. So, Writing for Freedom was basically um, a bunch of African American people riding the buses, um, wanting to integrate buses so there wasn't segregation. What they faced was violence. Um, from the police and white racists and so they kept going and going until um, there was so much attention from the media and the newspapers that it forced the Kennedy administration to take notice and make sure that the law was being enforced that they could not segregate transportation. Standing firms. Okay, who was James Meredith? He was an African-American Air Force veteran. What did he want? He wanted to go to college at an all-white college in Mississippi. What happened? Governor Ross Barnett refused to let him register for college. The response was Kennedy had federal, a federal marshal go with him to make sure he was allowed to register for college. Civil Rights Act of 1964. After Martin Luther's, Luther's historic speech and more violence from white racists in the South, JFK was assassinated. Johnson became the new president and promised to carry on Kennedy's work on helping civil rights. July 2, 1964, Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. What was it? It said that no one could discriminate against others because of their race, religion, national origin, and gender. Freedom Summer. Freedom Summer started in Mississippi because many African Americans were not allowed the right to vote in the South. College students trained in nonviolence went into the communities and helped register African Americans to vote. In 1964, three civil rights workers disappeared in Mississippi. Later, it was learned that the police, um, the police, and the Klan killed them. Okay, Fannie Lou Hammer. SNCC organized the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party and used Fannie to speak at the 1964 Democratic National Convention. Hammer spoke about how she was arrested and jailed for trying to register to vote in 1962. Although many people supported them, Johnson was worried about losing the votes of Southern whites. Johnson pressured the SNCC to compromise. They agreed to give two seats to MFDP if they promised to ban discrimination. Hammer and others felt betrayed by Johnson. Voting Rights Act of 1965. After marchers went to Montgomery with federal protection that grew to 25,000, Johnson passed the Voting Rights Act of 1965. With this act, disappeared the literacy test, requiring people to pass a reading test to vote. Federal examiners could enroll voters who had been denied by locals. This resulted in African Americans going from a 10% voting rate to 60% in 1968. African American votes tripled. Okay, so this is your next section, 21.3, Challenges and Changes in the Movement. Okay, so we'll look at that in the next few days. See you later. Bye.